How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to talk about overheating issues on iPhone. Now overheating is one of the common issues that happens to the iPhone. Now 8 out of 10 users are having these issues with their iPhone 7 or 7 Plus after iOS 15 update. Now this issue can be very serious and you can solve it. Before we go ahead and talk about it, you need to understand why is this happening with your iPhone. Well, this issue can come for minor bugs, faulty apps, playing games for too long or using camera application for too long, or this problem can occur because of the hardware-related issues. Now, if you want to solve this problem, you need to follow some troubleshooting guide. Well, first of all, you have to check that faulty application. Now, to check it out, the first things you have to do, just tap your settings, and scroll down to your battery, tap on there. Now, once you've done that, you're going to see all of this application will appear right here. Now, please take a look at that application that is consuming the more power, okay? Well, that could mean that apps is quite faulty. Now, all you can do is just get out of here, then tap on hold of your screen and simply delete this application in water to solve your problem. Now, after that, now let's go ahead and talk about another way to solve your problem, which is turning off your display time for a long period of time. Now what happens if you see your display is not getting automatically turned off or this can make your iPhone hot. So at this time all you want to do guys just go ahead and open up your settings and scroll down to your display and brightness and scroll down a little bit and tap auto lock. Now please use at least one minute I mean 30 seconds to one minute or you can use up to five minutes. Now if you see you're putting it never then what's happened your iPhone display will be always be turning on and that can can sometime make your iPhone hotter okay now just go ahead and simply use one minute well which is recommendable and then simply get out of here and then your problem should be solved now the next way we're going to talk about is removing that website cookies which might contain some virus sometimes so all you guys can do just go ahead and tap your settings you scroll down here and just tap your Safari browser if you're using Safari browser most of your time then scroll down here and simply go ahead and just find out your cookies if you type your advance and then you're going to see all of this website data will be available right here and all you can do just go ahead and scroll down and simply tap remove all website data tap remove now and afterward and you'll be able to solve this problem now let's go ahead and talk about another way which is called closing all those applications now especially for the games if you're using for a long time and if you just leave it on the background on your iphone then this issue can occur okay so let's say you have just played a game and then all you can do is just go ahead and double press on your home button and then you're gonna see all of this background application now simply go ahead and remove your games or that application that you have used for a long period of time and right after doing that your problem will be solved and your iPhone will not be getting hot anymore. Now, if you're still having the same problem, lastly, all you can do is simply can give it a reset all settings on your iPhone to solve your problem. Now to do that, just go ahead and type your settings and scroll down to your general and scroll down to your reset option go ahead and tap on there now once you're here go ahead and tap reset all setting now go ahead and tap reset all setting do it twice and afterward your iphone is going to take a restart and afterward your problem will be solved okay but even after that if you're still seeing that your problem is still there that could mean that something going seriously wrong with your battery now if you see especially your battery health is under 80 percent then all you gotta do, you gotta replace your battery. Now to do that, of course, you can go to the Apple Care. Hopefully they will solve your problem for yourself. And also, please be aware of some general terms like don't play games for too long or don't use your camera for too long. Even if you do, just try to just give some time into your iPhone to cool it down to restart your work. So these are the things you guys can literally do on your iPhone to solve your overheating issues. Hope this video helps. If so, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.